crime that sickens East Baltimore. In fact, it's a crime that sickens anyone who hears it. An 84-year-old woman was stabbed to death and her body was found in her burning home. And now detectives are hoping the same community that loved Miss Mary will help find her killer. I want to bring in Cheryl Connor tonight with more on the latest development. Cheryl? Yeah, and Jamie, homicide detectives spent the afternoon handing out this flyer. And I can tell you tonight, there is some information police are working that may lead them to a suspect. Not a single bad word is spoken about Miss Mary. Investigators are hoping to work off the passion people carry for the 84-year-old woman. Baltimore City homicide detectives are back on East Middle Street, handing out flyers to develop leads. Mary Hines' home at 2623 caught fire last Thursday. A day later, detectives said she was stabbed multiple times, and the fire may have been set to hide the killing. The fire definitely complicates the case. The fire definitely adds a hurdle that we're going to have to overcome in this investigation. We have things to work on. We have things that we are exploring. However, we really could use more help and more assistance from this community. So they spent the afternoon going door to door. Miss Mary never lost her passion for people. She was a teacher and a principal in city schools for over 30 years. She lived in this East Baltimore community for more than 50 years, and she helped her neighbors when it turns out she needed the assistance. Miss Mary was living with no gas and electric and no family in the area, according to neighbors. Who would want to kill her? I couldn't think of anyone. That's just a, a big shock. State Senator Nathaniel McFadden grew up a block away. To do this to an 84-year-old woman, to stab her and to burn her house down, it's just outrageous. Outrage may be the motivation police need to find who took the grandmother of this community. That this isn't something we just sit back and we say nothing about. Uh, somebody needs to pick up a phone. Somebody needs to call us. If they can do that to an 84-year-old woman that never did anything wrong as far as I know, they can do anything to anyone else. And I spoke to the chairman at the board of Metro Crime Stoppers. So far tonight, no tips have come in to help detectives. So let's give you that number once again. It's one eight six six seven lockup. You could be eligible for a cash reward of up to two thousand dollars. Cheryl Connor, ABC Two News.